Hey everybody, my name's Gunner. Today I'm going to show you how you can use the remote admin uh, panel in SCP uh, Secret Laboratory. So, uh, we're just going to load in. So, here's the what the remote admin looks like. You have a welcome thing. You can just read this. I'm not going to read it. You can read it yourself. We have play spec specific info. Uh, I really don't know what anything is. Request IP. Request authentication. You'll figure it out yourself. Uh, we have a lot of things here, so we're gonna go ahead and start the round. So we're gonna do first as our kick and ban thing. So we have first is a uh, kick and ban thing. So this is where you can um you can ban people and you can either kick or ban people for a certain amount of time. Fifty years, Jesus! What the? Okay, fifty years? Man. If you look on the end, look on the end, it says 50 years. Oh my god, man, they're never gonna come back into that server. They have to wait 50 years if they wanna come back into the server. Um, and then you have one year. Okay, well, that's kind of unnecessary to ban them. Um, for an Attention, all personnel. Uh, and the light containment zone decontamination <coughs> process this guy will occur shut in up. T minus 15 shut minutes. Shut up, I'm trying to... All biological substances must be removed in order to avoid destruction. Okay, he's shut up now, okay. Okay, so, uh, you can ban, kick them, ban them, kick them for one minute, or for just one minute. Just ban, just ban them for one minute. <laughs> and then you can force class, so you have all the classes. SCP-17... Uh, you have the peanut, you have Larry, you have doctor, you have computer, you have zombie, you have shy guy, the dogs, and spectator. And then yeah, you can be the chaos, the boy, scientist, guard, cadet, and um, you can be a scientist, MTF, uh, lieutenant, um, commander, and tutorial. The tutorial, uh, oh, and also if you want to give yourself, go to the plays list and then select the play you would like to do with them so that to do the commands to them so i'm going to set my class to tutorial now i'm a tutorial and i can't get out of this well i'll show you how to get out of this little watch tower thing um when you spawn as a tutorial so next one is give items so you can so you can go to plays list select a player by clicking on their name and then um and then click on an item you'd like to give them. So say I want to give myself an 05 key card. And, I, and you select it. And then it should have a blue outline around it. And then you click request. Press tab. And then their item should be there. And then their item should be there. And they're good to go. Now, the remote admin, you can just either use this. The remote admin is pretty much used to kick ban. It's pretty much a tool to... Just, to um, torment, to bully people or either help them. I wouldn't recommend bullying them because that would just kind of be a little bit rude to bully them. But you can you can mess with the people though. I mean, yeah, I just wouldn't recommend bullying them too much though because um, uh, if you have it on the plays, um, just be kind in the server, okay? Unless you can mess with them a bit, just not a lot because then you won't get any plays in your server. <laughs> Next we have the admin tool, so we have overwatch, which means prevent, which is preventing you from respawning, you can't respawn. God mode means, uh, the god mode means you can't die, it prevents it, them from damaging the player. The bypass mode means allow an opening protected door, so basically like locked doors, you could just open them with hand, without a key card, just hand. Teleportation, you can um, you can either bring a player to you or teleport to a player's location and where they are. Um, you get this, and you just click someone on the playlist, and then you can just bring them to you or teleport. Um, this is missed just some uh, some other commands like you can heal yourself or lock down. Yeah, you can enable lockdown or disable in the facility. No clip. When you clip innate, click enable. And you're not flying. How I'm not flying. How I can't fly. You just press I, and then in the top in the top left corner it should say no clip active speed times one. You move around. You can change your speed by using the uh, mouse uh, wheel. So I can go really fast when I'm on really fast or really slow. The 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 default speed is um 
the default speed is times one. That's the default speed times one. You can no clip into rooms and then you just press I again to stop no clipping. And then you can go in the new room and do whatever you want. Go in the new room or go into a room that's locked and you can't get in. Yeah, and here's the map. <laughs> uh, the next, and there's, that's really all in the, uh, the uh, little admin tool thing. Now we're gonna go next to the next one, which is the doors management. This is basically a little thing. So you select, you select a door from the list, and then you select a door from the list, and then yeah, you just select a door from the list. So say I want to open um, so let's actually let's actually just so um, I'm just gonna show you this. Okay, I just need to go down into the facility to show you it. I'm just gonna go down to the facility to show you um, what the doors man. You can do you can pretty much open. You can only open doors in the um. Most of the doors are down in this um the uh underground. Uh, so say I don't have a key card. Say I don't have a key card or anything. Okay, or you, you're trying to open the door for someone. You don't need to be a computer. All you need to do is just go here. Say I want to open the gate A open boom it opens boom it opens and also we just can't we don't have to there's a, you can't you also can do more things than opening you can close it you can um lock it so see let's go up to it yeah see see how it's locked we can unlock it we can destroy it Oh, you can't do it with the gate. Yeah, you can't do it with the gate. You can't do it with these glass doors. But you can do it with, um... Uh, yeah. Wait, how did that just get locked? Wait, what happened? I think it's... Okay, lock... I think I accidentally locked it. I think I accidentally locked heavy. Okay. Um... Unlock. Oh, let me unlock it. Okay. I guess I don't know why that's locked for some reason. I have no idea. Uh, let me just find a door like a. Um, let me find a door that you can destroy. Okay, we're just gonna teleport to entrance. We're just gonna teleport to the. And also, you don't. You can also teleport to places. Okay. You can also teleport. So, uh, surface nuke, teleport. Boom, I'm in a thing. Now, I can't, now say I can't open this. I'm trying to open it, but it's not working. Instead of just having to open it yourself, well. Destroyed it. I can just destroy it. <laughs> Who cares? I can just destroy it. And, uh, yeah, that's how the destroy thing works. Um, and you can't undestroy it you can't undestroy it it's been destroyed you can't undestroy it and then obviously you can teleport to our uh, rooms and stuff and uh yeah that's all i have to do for the doors management now the status effects are basically you can read through all this i have no idea what any of that means but it's like enabling things and dis disable and enabling things and stuff uh the player mgt is basically someone's the players management so you can um there's not really a lot you can do with the players i was hoping you could like they should have like you can just kill a player instantly so i'm having to teleport them and shoot them dead um but uh you can uh, mute someone so if someone's being really loud and they're not shutting up you can just mute them instead of having to go in here and mute them. You can just do that, because that works, but instead, you can just mute them, because then that mutes them to every player, so for every player, they'll be muted. They can't talk, and then you can unmute them. Um, in the intercom, you can mute the intercom. If someone's putting a really annoying message on the intercom, you can just mute them. And if you wanna unmute them in the intercom, you can just unmute them. You can disarm them and release them. Disarm. <laughs> Yeah, that's cuffing, and then you can release them. Which means that's uncuffing them. That's basically just uncuffing them. Oh, there's my 05. 
And uh, yeah, that's basically what you can do with players. The server events. Here. Here are uh, some things you can do. So you can respawn the MTF. So that's when the helicopter at gate respawns and then it drops out all the MTF and the MTF enter the facility and stuff. Then you can respawn the chaos, which um is the same as the MTF. Um, you can spawn the truck at gate A. Uh, you can restart the round. That restarts the round. You can start the rounds. Start the round. So it's when that like that the round starting. You can just start it immediately. You can kick uncon. I don't know what the kick uncon. I don't know what that means. I guess it's to kick a player. I think. I guess that's to kick a player. I think kick uncon means to kick a player. Terminate uncon. I, th I think I think it's I think it's to terminate someone or kill them. I'm not sure what it does, but okay. Warhead start. So this is where you can start the warhead. Okay, see, this is where you can start the warhead. And then you can just stop the warhead. And then you can instead of just having to start the warhead and waiting for it to go, you can immediately just deonate it. Press deonate. And then it'll just immediately explode. Then it explodes. Boom. Um, you can have the intercom timeout. So that's when the intercom is um is like in its timeout thing. When say when someone just spoke on the intercom and they're done, it'll have a little restart time. Instead of having to wait for that, you can just click intercom intercom timeout. The intercom is not being used. Intercom reset. You're, yeah, you'll you'll get the hang of it. It just resets the timer on the intercom. Round lock. Disable. Lobby lock. And yeah, that's pretty much all they do. I think it's like to lock this thing so you can't like the lock means they can't do anything. Light containment zone is locked down and ready for decontamination. The removal of organic substances has now begun. Do the back. And, uh, yeah, that's pretty much all it does. Two more, though. Two more. The server configs, you enable friendly fire, spawn pretect, and all those other things. Spawn tickets. You can make the MTF tickets high as hell. High as hell. Say, you can just make them legit 100. You can legit set the, the, M, the MTF tickets to a hundred. Same with the chaos. Set them to a hundred. And say I want them to only be at 35. And the MT MTF at 30. The MTF at this. Refresh it. And then boom. Those are all the commands and how to use them. See you in the next video. Bye. <laughs> that was weird. I don't know why I did that. Ah. Bye. Bye.